The cost of living crisis is becoming a cost of privacy crisis. Supermarkets, including Tesco, Sainsbury's and Morrison's, are forcing their customers to hand over huge quantities of personal data just to access the special offers and discounts that are available to everybody a few years ago. From handing over personal data to access deals, to facial recognition guarding the door of Sim supermarkets, for many people, going out to buy the basics now means being subjected to heavy surveillance. And some supermarkets are going even further, introducing till-free stores. We're visiting one of these today in Greenwich, an Aldi Shop and Go. These surveillance supermarkets are analysing and watching your every move using AI to work out what you pick up and to automatically charge you for it. Tesco has offered loyalty rewards to its customers since 1958, taking part in the Green Shield Stamp Scheme, which gave customers stamps for spending money in a range of businesses including Tesco, petrol stations and other retailers. These stamps were mounted up and allowed collectors to buy items from the Green Stamps catalogue. It's been a pretty hectic month for prices. It all started about six weeks ago when Tesco announced that they were going to drop Green Shield stamps. Do you think the prices really will come down once the stamps have gone? I would like to think so, but I don't really believe that they will do so. Tesco pulled out of the scheme in 1977 as an apparent cost-cutting measure as businesses are required to buy the stamps to give to customers. For most of its history, Tesco's club card allowed customers to collect points for every pound they spent in store. These points could then be swapped for money off vouchers that were sent in Tesco with partner businesses, and customers were also given money off vouchers for products they might be interested in. And in 2019, this all changed when Tesco introduced club card prices, special prices for those who have a loyalty card. The loyalty scheme more from something that was an option you may choose to have if you shopped in Tesco, than an absolute necessity for anyone who wants to keep their grocery bills low in a cost of living crisis. The great news for Tesco is that the club card allows them to collect data about each and every customer. Right from when they initially sign up, to each and every time they make a purchase. Tesco get to understand you as a customer on a much more personal level and have a greater understanding of your buying Club card is always being a data harvesting tool. When the scheme was first trialled in the 1990s, Lord McLaurin, Tesco's then CEO, said, what scares me about this is that you know more about my customers in three months than I know in 30 years. Tesco uses this data internally, and via its subsidiary Dunhumby, it sells the insights to other companies. Our clients need to know as much as they possibly can about their customers. Questions like, why are they shopping with me? Why are they buying that item as opposed to the other one? Why are they buying this time of the day? how much is price an important factor to them, and they need answers at individual level. Tesco gives the chilling example in its privacy policy. You may be in a group of households which has shown an advertisement for coffee, having previously bought coffee at Tesco with your club card. People should be free to choose whether they want to trade their data for points or not. But with complicated privacy policies making it hard to clearly understand what happens to our data, loyalty cards are now necessary to access offers. Retailers have serious questions to answer about whether the choice to sign up to hand over granular data about what you buy and when is truly free and informed. Mass data harvesting is now the sad reality for the shopping experience of millions of people in the UK. But there are some companies that try and collect even more data from you when you are shopping. These cashless and cashierless supermarkets include Amazon Go and Aldi Shop and Go. We're often Aldi Shop and Go in Greenwich, one of these cashierless supermarkets where you enter, scan a QR code, pick it what you want and leave. Cameras, AI and sensors monitor and analyse your every move to look at what items you've picked up and to automatically charge you for them. We're signing up to the Aldi Shop and Go app. Give your name, your email address, your phone number and you have to consent to Aldi processing your personal data. They Aldi uses in-store cameras powered by automated technology including biometric processing to detect and charge you for items selected during your shop and go visit. That's quite short, but then the terms and conditions are Aldi shop and go terms and conditions are quite long. Yeah, and this, this is how you get your checking code for an Aldi Go. You press that, press the button, and you get a QR code to enter the store. And I'm going to use this barcode to enter the Aldi shop and go in Greenwich. I've just got back from the Aldi shop and go in Greenwich. It's quite a weird experience. Going in, you generate a QR code in the app on your phone and you scan it and the gates open. Walking around, it looked like a normal Aldi, 
but looking for the ceiling, the thing was littered with hundreds of CCTV cameras. Walking up and down the aisles, it was like any other supermarket. I picked up a pan of chocolat from the bakery section, a beer to try and test how they estimate your age, and some hand cream that I needed. And strolling around, it was noticeably quite empty, particularly compared to the Sainsbury's, it was a couple of doors down. But it felt like you'd been watched by the hundreds and hundreds of cameras all over the place. Something we're quite concerned about about these stalls is how they're not available to everyone. Some people don't have a smartphone or are on banks or don't have access to payment cards to pay for things online. And if they become the default, there's a potential to exclude a lot of people from buying basics like bread and milk, and that would be a massive problem. The best way to protect your privacy is to be careful. Check what information you're handing over when you sign up to these loyalty schemes or use these surveillance supermarkets. Hold businesses to account. Call them out when they are hiding shady data practices deep, deep in their privacy policies. Nobody's saying not to use loyalty card schemes that can save you a fortune in a cost of living crisis. But what we must make sure is that there's openness and transparency about the data collection and how this data is used, that your privacy and my privacy is not being exploited by these big businesses at this difficult time. Hi, I'm Silky Carlo, director of Big Brother Watch. We rely on supporters just like you to help our relentless battle against surveillance and censorship. Please head to the description in this video to see a link to our donation page. Every penny you give goes directly to our campaigns to defend freedom. If you like this video, please remember to comment, like and subscribe to our channel.